This video will guide you through the process of adding documents to the MyTap course outline using either Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive in the My Content app. Let's begin by moving over to the app doc on the right and clicking on the My Content app. The My Content app is where you keep your personal collection of content that you want to add to MindTap. Please note, any content that you want to add to your MindTap course must be uploaded into your My Content app first before you can share it with your students. The My Content app is composed of three apps, a Google Drive app, a Kaltura app, and a Microsoft OneDrive app. This video will cover just the Google Drive and OneDrive apps. The Kaltura app is featured in another training video. Click on the Google Drive icon and you'll be asked to log into your Google Drive account. If you don't have one, you can go to the Google Drive website and very easily create an account in a few minutes. Ours has already been linked, and once linked, you never need to log into Google Drive again for any MindTap course. Your login information will be remembered by MindTap. The same holds true for Microsoft OneDrive. When you open your Google Drive account through MindTap, any non-media documents like Word documents, spreadsheets, PDF files, or PowerPoints will appear in your Google Drive and you will be able to add them to MindTap for your students to see. However, the good news is that you are not limited to documents on Google Drive. An upload button is available, which will enable you to upload any document from your computer using the browse button. Let's say you want to add the PowerPoint slides for chapter one. You've already downloaded them on your laptop so now you need to upload them into My Content. Click on the Chapter 1 PowerPoints file, and an Upload Document to Google Drive window will open. Click on the blue Upload button, and wait until you see a message that reads, Upload Successful. You will now see the PowerPoint slides in the list of files. Next, close the My Content app, and click on the Add slash Create green button, select Activity, and then select Google Drive. If you do not see your file, be sure that the Show Files That Have Been Shared With Students box is unchecked, and that will reveal all your files. Select the document you wish to add by clicking on the radio button in front of it, and then hit Continue. You have the option to add text before or after the document. Click Save, and the Assign to Course window will open. At this point, you can edit the title and description of the file as well as assign available and due dates. However, the most important task is to tell MindTap where you want to place this file. Under Location is the associated topic field. Select the chapter where you want to place your file. Since we have uploaded the Chapter 1 PowerPoints, we will select Chapter 1, Early Humans in the First Civilizations. Next, decide where you would like to place the PowerPoints in the chapter by clicking on the Order Within Topic field. The default is at end, which will place your file at the end of all the chapter content. We will place ours at the beginning of the chapter by selecting Before Setting the Scene, Chapter 1. Click the green Add button. Your Chapter 1 PowerPoints are now the first entry in Chapter 1. In addition to linking out to Google Drive, the My Content app includes Microsoft OneDrive. Click on the OneDrive cloud icon, and then click on Sign In and then accept to link your OneDrive account to MindTap. Once linked, you can add your OneDrive documents to your MindTap course in the same way you do with Google Drive. The only difference is that when you click on the Add or Create Green button and Add Activity, select Microsoft OneDrive instead of Google Drive. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.